everyone, Alyssa Reynolds here today on a really wonderful day as always, even though when I look out the window there it's starting to be a little bit more like fall rather than the summer. But fall is amazing. It's full of so many colors and it's so crisp and there's lots of rain, here at least. That's what I love. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it, even though summer almost went by way too fast. I don't know about all of you. Did summer go by fast for all of you? It certainly felt like it, even though last week I was gone for the week up island camping with some of my family, totally off of technology. You may have noticed I didn't post anything for a whole week and it was a wonderful, wonderful time. And it also inspired what today's video is about, which is what are some of the ways you can work with spirit or rather when I asked my guardian angel Randolph what some of the ways to work with spirit were, I got five. And these ways work for anybody, no matter where you feel you're at in terms of connecting with or working with spirit. You may be at the place of just being curious and you've stumbled over here and you're like, whoa, what is this? This is interesting. This is exciting. I've never really poked my nose over to this amazing corner of spirituality. <laughs> or Maybe you're an absolute old hat at this and you've been connecting with your angel team or your spirit guides ever since you were really little or maybe for just many years as an adult. Whatever the case is, these are five different ways that you can work with spirit. So the first one is stillness. So. Randolph, what would you say about stillness? What's meant by that? So he says that stillness is the number one most important for all these five, which all work together, um, kind of they weave together and they're not necessarily a list of one, two, three, four, five that must be worked through, but achieving stillness is the most important and the one to focus upon above all others. To still the mind in whatever way works for you. So that's meditation, walks in nature, listening to calming music and paying attention to that music. So each note as it is played and how those notes feel as they go through you. But meditation is the main one. Meditation, meditation, meditation. And that may start out with following guided meditation, but it can also be just sitting quiet and acknowledging the thoughts as they pass through your head, but not holding to any thought. On to the second one. <laughs> okay. So the second one is place. And when my guardian angel first mentioned this one, I was like, place, what, what do you, what, what do you mean by that? That's a really broad term. So Randolph, how would you describe place for um, all of the wonderful individuals listening? Place is wherever you are. It is your home. It is rooms in your home. It is where you work. It is rooms in your workspace. It is places you go to spend time for pleasure 
or for errands. So like a cafe or grocery store. These places you cannot always control what energies are in these places, but you can control your energies in these places. And in whatever place you are, make yourself, your body, your place. Hold to the energy that you want to have, no matter where you are. And that will create what you will feel in whatever location you are at, no matter what other energies are around you. This is also about creating Spaces that do make you happy. Spaces that do express who you are. If you feel drawn to bring in spiritual paraphernalia. <laughs> so angel statues, cards, crystals, rocks, plants and fill your space with those, that is creating a place that makes you happy. On to the third one. So the third one is nature. So that's number three and it's nature. Grounding. <laughs> and that's just grounding. Anything else you want to say on that, Randolph? No. So, for that third one, just getting outside and ground. So for those of you who may not be familiar with the word grounding, you may have heard the word earthing before. Just get outside and walk on the ground in barefoot feet, or sit down somewhere, pull off your shoes, and just stick them into the sand or the grass. Or at the very least, just get outside and be around nature. So number four is create. And for this one, Randolph says, tap into your inner child, tap into your joy, your happiness, your pure bliss. Let it out through art, through singing, through dancing, through whatever combination of creativity makes you happy. and to create without judgment. <laughs> so grabbing paint and just splattering it against a piece of paper. <laughs> Which, as I am thinking about that, <laughs> it's just making me laugh so much. But <laughs> that's the point, just having fun. Oh my gosh, yeah. I kind of want to do that now. Well, I don't have any paints per se, I mostly work in a lot of calligraphy, so maybe more me taking all my calligraphy pens and just splattering them on a piece of paper after this. <sighs> Love when I get ideas when I'm doing videos like this. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> yes, I'm getting back on track. So getting back on track. Number five is movement. And that, Randall says movement 
is not just the physical movement of going and walking, of going and exercising, of dancing, of moving your body in some physical way, but it is also encouraging yourself to do something new every day, every other day, once a week, whenever you can fit it in. Do something new. Try something new. Do something different. Exploring will move you forward. That is all. And that is all. So just to recap over those, the five different ways to work with spirit are number one, stillness. Number two, place, creating a sacred place and space. Number three, nature, getting out of nature. Number four, create, tap into that creativity. And number five, movement, exercise, and explore. So, without further ado, I wish all of you a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all later. Love and light to you all, and goodbye for now. Hey everyone! So if you are interested in working with Spirit in September, there is the Mediumship for Beginners online course that I am a part of. It's coming up on September 15th, and it will be running until September 30th. It is headed by the wonderful medium Tristan Davies, though there's a number of us other mediums who are also a part of it, and it's two weeks where you'll be a part of a private Facebook group and you'll get to work with us teachers, work with students, and working through all the material at your own pace, getting to practice connecting with spirit at your own pace, and it is such a wonderful, just high vibe community. I'm really, really, really excited about it. So it is September 15th to 30th. It's 125 USD and you can be paying through PayPal or a credit card. If you want to check out a little bit more information or, or register, you can go to www. Kristen Davies Medium dot com and sign up. I'm really, really excited. We've already got people from all over the world, and it'd be wonderful to have you join us. Bye for now, and I hope to see all of you around the next corner.